Hello everyone, welcome to my review of the Kerry Kit Joy backpack in the blue steel. Um, this is a very true blue. The best way I can describe this particular blue is um, like a Wedgwood colour. If you can remember the old Wedgwood plates and that, that sort of true creamier blue. But it is absolutely, truly stunning colour um, with the gold hardware. Um, on the bottom you have the uh, flat studded feet. I love Kerry Kit, just, there's just so much detail that's gone into this bag. Uh, I was a little bit sceptical about having studs, um, saw some reviews, saw some pictures, but actually in reality I, I, I know they're called studs but I try not to call them that. Uh, it's just a lovely feature design texture to the front of the bag and actually in real life it, it just it just makes the bag it just makes that extra bit of stunningness um, to the outside of the bag so I'm going to do a review of this bag in terms of its features and what it's got it's currently packed up to take my two older children who are five and eight for a day trip to London tomorrow uh, so not got any nappies in but I have got some items I'll, I'll swap out just to show you that it does still fit small children as well but um my two-year-old will be staying at home it's just me and the older ones going out for the whole day um and there you go right so if i dive straight in so on the outside of the bag first of all um you get a lovely front yeah. seat pocket here and as i said i'm going to london tomorrow so i am i pack and i also work in london so i'm very used to kind of being commuting up and going on the tubes and trains but I'm very conscious about how I pack my bags just from a security perspective in terms of keeping things particularly safe uh, so I haven't got anything in here at the moment um, and probably won't use that particular pocket just, but you, it is way down there it is quite a deep pocket and quite useful maybe throw some tissues or something just quick grab items that of no value um, in there if I need to I love the size of this front pocket. Um, it's quite deceptively large, and it might be hard, really hard to show with the camera. Um, but there's actually quite a little bit of space, and this bag is uh, it's not really overly full, but there's enough sort of pushing on this side of it that actually you can still see there is plenty of room in here. At the moment, I just have some feminine needs, um, and I'm using the Itsy Ritzy small uh, packing cube just for some of those in there. I haven't obviously got cards in there because I have a, a wallet inside and tissues just to sit inside there. And uh, again, it's a great place when you're out with kids just to be able to chuck things in. We're going to go to a couple of museums, so I'm more than likely to end up with leaflets and stuff that I can just chuck in here. Um, but I do have a Jujube large set piece um, here that's got some, some bits in it. And just to show you just how big this pocket is, that quite easily sits in there with stuff in it and does that and you wouldn't even know it was there it is a truly big pocket and you can have things loose in the bottom um and you can have things organized in a pouch if you needed to all the carry kit bags come with this champagne embossed lining which is absolutely gorgeous um, with the carry kit logo it's a lovely slightly shiny uh, fabric which i believe is totally waterproof and wipe proof uh, obviously because you can't wash in a washing machine a leather bag um but the insides are totally wipeable which will obviously save them when you need to just that back in there as well um and that's just just that's just two prints this is the floral cube with the blue steel looks absolutely stunning and this is the whimsical watercolor from juju b again looks absolutely amazing with this bag Right, on the side, um, I will probably stick my umbrella in one of these sides, depending on what the weather's going to be doing tomorrow. Um, but I'm not planning on putting any bottles on the outside. Um, they are obviously, being a lot older, they don't they don't desperately need drinks. Um, but I will carry some drinks inside for them for the train journey and stuff. When it might be harder for me to get anything for them. Um, I do have the uh, sold separately bag tag that comes with the bag. Onto the back, um, it has a security pocket and obviously I'm filming with my phone. My phone will be in here um, and I've currently got my Oyster card in a be charged sitting in there as well. It's lovely and padded so you don't feel, as long as it's quite flat, you don't really feel what's in this pocket. Also, when it's on my back, 
I can easily access, I can turn around quite easily and get into this pocket um, and get out my pass, which is a lifesaver when you're trying to grab, you know, onto a tube, trying to hold onto two kids and, and navigate the barriers. Um, in fact, I haven't got to swing my bag off my back at the same time as well is, is just fantastic. And it's something I now look for in pretty much all backpacks. Um, I have got a couple that I'm planning on selling just because they don't have those sort of features. The backpack straps are slightly padded, um, certainly two layers of the leather, lovely and comfortable. Love how they come here, sit very nicely on my shoulders. I'm five foot six um, and I've got it, I could probably even do it a little bit shorter actually, but there's obviously a reasonable amount of adjustment um, from these straps which are so down the adjustable bit, there are leather on this side and like a woven fabric on this side. They don't slip, but they're actually quite tough to adjust. So you almost have to have them adjusted for your day rather than try and adjust them when it's already on your back. Um, but on the other side of that, they don't slip, which I have other bags that do, which can be very annoying. Um, the bag does come with D-rings if you want to hold it off of a stroller, which is fine. Um, and on the grab handle is like a roll top handle um very comfortable just to, to swing off your bag and, and grab and what i do like about it as well just put the camera up slightly is when you pull it up the bag doesn't misshape it holds its shape perfectly even if you've got the zip front open which means anything kind of at the top is still easy to to get hold of uh, so going inside to the bag uh, Oh, so the of the, <laughs> there's a little sort of secret pocket here. Not actually what it was exactly designed for originally, but my keys do fit quite nicely in there. Um, I don't like the position of the key thing that's inside, which is why they're sitting up there, which I'll show you in a second. Into the main part of the bag, it zips down to just above the bottle pockets. Um, and they do learn to flap quite nicely down and stay there. The more you do it, the more it, it seems to kind of have that sort of memory. Quite a packed bag. Um, so in the front, there are two uh, elastic pockets. In this one, I have my Millie wallet in the antique rose. I do have a separate video on this particular wallet um, if you want to have a look at that one. Um, but I think pink and blue go very well together. Um, and in the second one, I just have, um, both me and my daughter have um, long hair. So I've got hair ties and the brush and stuff. You know, she starts out with her hair down and then wants it up half over the day. A little thing of soap because you're using public toilets. Might need those at some point, you never know. Um, and then I've got a fuel cell. Um, it's not actually packed at the moment. It's a little, it's a little bit floppy. Um, but for their drinks and snacks, it's just the snacks are in there at the moment. I'll do the drinks, obviously, when we're about to leave um, to keep them all nice in there. And I can just hand them around the train. I'll give you a nice short shot into the inside of the bag. So, that, so the two things were in, in there. That was sitting on top of loose in the bottom of the bag is the medium packing cube from the floral itsy ritsy's collection because uh, you get a set of three you get the small medium and large uh, just a change of leggings a wet bag and a few other little bits for my daughter's sort of child that will sit in a wet puddle and it's due to rain tomorrow so i don't go anywhere without something for her and i'll probably stick their hats and gloves and stuff um in there as well just in case it is kind of bordering on on hat and glove weather but you just never know how they feel. I might get hot, I'll be sticking it in my bag anyway. Okay, so right in the very bottom, I've got the bag that comes with the bag. You get a zip top waterproof bag that comes with it. Uh, that's sitting in the bottom, just because kids always hand you something gross at some point throughout the day, but you like to put it in something not in your bag. Loose anyway. Um, on this side, I've got my um, swell bottle in the bottom pockets. There are actually two, one on either side. You can see there's one here and one here. The one thing I say when I first got this bag is the pockets are quite tight. You have to use them a few times for them to loosen up, but once they do, they're absolutely fine. Um, that mini wallet, the first time I got it, I couldn't even get it in there. And now I can almost get it in. After a few uses, I can pretty much get it in fairly easily. In the back sort of padded laptop pocket, um, I've just got a pack of wipes in the wipe pouch 30, because sticky hands. Even when they're eight-year-old, they still get sticky hands and dirty hands and touch things they shouldn't. Um, and just for the train, just some entertainment. I've got some colouring pens and paper. My daughter is very arty, 
and would much rather do that than sit and watching your phone. My son will sit with my phone and his head and the headphones on for the entire journey. So that will keep them both occupied throughout the day. And then just safely in the back of the zip pocket, I have a, a little first aid kit that I carry everywhere with me. Um, antiseptic plasters, hair tablets for me, cow pole, the usual. And on this bag, the this thing here where you can obviously put your laptop in also has a little stud closure. Um, so you can turn it into two pockets depending on what you're doing. But that thing was a lot wider than that, so I've left it open. Um, and all the inside leather trim on the back is in the same uh, blue steel. And this is what I mean about this. I love the idea. I absolutely love bags that have the, the sort of tag thing to put your keys on. Unfortunately, just its position, um, it's hidden. And that's something I don't like. I don't like it to be hidden. I'm fumbling to try and find my keys. Also, I was a bit concerned them dangling down and then hitting, on, particularly if you had a laptop in there, dangling onto there. I did try adding this to sort of see whether it made it a little bit better. I think it's, it's the one thing about this bag I would change is the position of this. Just move it over to one of the sides so it's a little bit easier um, to get to. Otherwise, it is an absolutely stunning, beautiful bag. It is obviously full grain leather, so therefore it is relatively heavy to carry even when empty. But once you put it on your back, you just don't notice the difference. Um, it's very comfortable, it's very soft. I, I was skeptical about what colour to choose. Um, I didn't want any more black bags. Um, so the blue was kind of the most obvious choice. And I think I'm just so pleased with the blue. Um, it will go through all seasons. It is light enough to be a summer bag if you jazz it up with something really bright. Um, it could easily be a winter bag. And I've got um, also what goes nicely with it um, is the Flying Keys Harry Potter, a darker sort of navy and gold um, with gold hardware slightly different heights so that's like more yellowy um obviously a cheaper um finish to it but you could use darker colors um or you could just all round use <laughs> floral colors um with it um just and um, this is actually as far as i forget this is my daughter the larger of the, of the set and this is my daughter my youngest daughter's nappy knees she's potty training so I've got a couple of nappies wipes wet bag change of pants and whatever um quite easily um just from a height perspective that quite happily sits there I wouldn't be able to get the fuel cell back in in the way that it was and quickly just stick all these things back in here the beauty of the itsy ritzy ones is they come with a grab handle so you can stand them vertically I do that and then we put that in the back still and that there Put the first aid kit back. Da, 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 da. Extra wipes because you just don't know the kids. Put a swell bottle back in. I think if I was using it for all three of my children, I would definitely use the outside bottle pockets as well because I just wouldn't have enough space. Um, stick that back in there. That back in there. I could still carry that. Still carry my wallet. Um, stick that in there. Uh, I can use there's still some space for me to get a bottle into that side as well for one of the others. I've still got space on top. I could easily put a snack bag or something smaller. Um, if I use a medium set piece to represent the snacks quite easily, you can sit on there. Do it up. A stove bag for three children. That and that probably would last with all three children probably would last me a, you know a good couple of hour trip without too much problem. So there you go, the Kerry Kit uh, Joy in the blue steel. Um, can't highly recommend it. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching.